All right, hey there, all you earthlings and otherlings, the royal son here, and I got a story I want to relate to you. I feel it's relevant and poignant given the current events of pop culture and societal trends and entertainment industry. And, you know, it's my due diligence. It's my duty of diligence to share this all with y'all. So here we got here the uh, the great Mjolnir, Thor's hammer. And in my travels from Trafalgar, where I'm from in the 10th dimension, I happened to come across Asgard. And as I was passing it, it was like a train wreck was happening. And I was just like, what's going on? And you know, you all might know this event is called Ragnarok or whatever. You can check out the Asgardian tomes and scriptures, and even the earthling translations of the events that happened. Get more details of those events, the characters, and whatnot. I'm just here to relate to specifically Molnir, and what happened was this great event transpired where gods, the hammers, their hammers all crashed and clashed, and I saw, I witnessed it, and this, this weapon of mass destruction happened to get damaged. And from that damage, there was fractions and fragments that were left behind. Well, I was on my way from Chalfamador to visit my great great grandsire Solo, who was lost in space, you know, on the moon Titan. Well, I thought, you know what a great gift to give him. I didn't have a gift. And it's, it just felt right. So I grabbed those fragments. I put them in my pocket. I got back on my ship and I headed my way. Well, I ended up crashing on planet Earth. You know, I was stuck here on planet Earth. I, I thought I was aiming for Titan, but they were too similar. And so I'm stuck on planet Earth, and I had these fragments. Well, my little time on planet Earth, I heard the Earthling music. And I was like, wow, this is nothing like the music of Trafalgar. I want to get involved. And I looked at my fragments, and I looked at my heart, and I thought of something I could do. So... In the foundry of my heart, which burns with the fire of 16,008 transcendental blue giant stars, I took those fragments and I placed them. And I began to forge a new creation. Now, it was just a fragment. It wasn't the whole thing. But I took those pieces and I took some currency on planet Earth and I took some other instruments and pieces and gems and, you know, precious jewels. And let's just check this out here. I got it here in the sand plant right now. We'll just open up the sand plant and see what we got for y'all. Yeah, there you can see it. So out of the, uh, out of the desire to do something new and to find true freedom through intense limitations, this beast was forged. Let's just see now. We just put this there and that there and the other thing around and click it on. And, oh, yeah, get that there. Let's just see what happens if I... You know, you can't understand what's going on, but I'm just going to just gonna honk away and see what happens on this thing. So I might have to put you in the darkness. While I find a lack. Yeah, you know, that's just something that happened. 